Hey everybody, so I thought I'll just give you a quick update on what's been going on, what I've been doing and what you guys can expect in the near future. First off, as you guys will be able to see from the footage, I'm leveling a hunter. This is going to be a 91 to 99 marksmanship hunter twink and I'm going to buy the item level 705 weapon and some other really powerful gear so you guys can expect a lot of really good PvP stuff from this character when it gets there. I do enjoy hunters but I dislike beast mastery because I hate the idea of my pet doing everything and doing all the damage and I really don't like survival because the damage output while it is undoubtedly good, I just dislike all the damage over time stuff and I like the bursty feel of marksmanship and I've also played this spec since I first played hunter so it does feel pretty natural. I decided to take a different turn on leveling this character and I instead chose to level it solely through doing dungeons alone from level 15. Currently I'm level 65 and overall it's been a challenging and entertaining experience. Leveling through quests probably would have bored me so I decided to put a different spin on it so I would actually level up this character rather than quitting it halfway through like I usually would. Now I'm not re-rolling or anything, monks are still my main characters and I do love playing them and while I level this hunter I'm still getting footage for future videos with my monks and I still haven't seen any enhancement shamans around, I haven't forgotten about that jewel guide. There just isn't anyone to jewel out in Duratar half the time. And I can't duel outside Stormwind in Elwyn Forest on my Alliance Monk without someone getting really mad at me for some reason. So getting decent and fair jewels is a pain right now. Also I'm working on some more methods of making gold. On my Hunter from level 1 to 60 I got 20,000 gold worth of items. And just over 4,000 gold worth of that stuff has sold so far. It's mainly from transmog items. And because there's no one else to take them from me in those dungeons, all of it comes to me so I get a lot of greens that I can sell on the auction house. And speaking of transmog items, a friend of mine raised a really good point in saying that the transmog market might die out in Legion due to the changes that are being made to the transmog system. It'll be like Diablo 3 where once you have an item, that appearance is saved, and it will be account-wide too apparently. Which means that less people will be buying transmog because if someone has that transmog piece on one character, they won't have to rebuy it for another character. We'll have to see how it pans out, but I will be making a gold guide for the best transmog farms and how to build up a mini market around it and how to properly sell all your stuff with the least amount of hassle like you see me doing it. I just press the post button and all these auctions immediately undercut my competition. The add-on that I'm using is called Trade Skill Master or TSM if you guys want to get it. It takes a little while to set up but there are guides on how to set it up. I'll go through how to set it up in that gold video that I'll be making soon enough though. Also BlizzCon is just around the corner, 10 or 11 days away I believe. So I'm really really hyped for the changes and I'm honestly hoping that Monks get some well deserved strong changes that fit our playstyle. There were some leaked changes to Monks which basically said that we will be losing our brew and they would be replaced with other abilities which have the same function but it wouldn't be based on building up and then drinking brew. If that's true I think that would be a neat little change because I never really felt as though the whole brew thing fit Windwalkers and that it was a more brewmaster thing. And apparently Crackling Jade Lightning is getting a change so it's more like a Siege Breaker instant cast knockback which would make the ability much more useful. But as always with leak stuff, don't get too excited with it and take it with a grain of salt. While some leaks have been true in the past, like the Wall of Adrenal one, there are many more leaks that have been bullcrap. So even though these leaked ideas are cool, we'll have to see what happens when BlizzCon arrives. And I will be making a video response to the changes we get and how I feel about them. So to summarize everything, there's going to be Hunter Twink PvP videos coming up soon. Guaranteed to be some ridiculous footage from that character. Also, Monk PvP stuff soon, Gold Guides and BlizzCon stuff for Legion. And also, if I do get into the beta, and I'm really hoping I get into the beta, expect a ton of content from there too. And that wraps everything up, so I hope you all have an awesome day, and I will catch you all in a future video. See ya!